going on everybody it's your boy Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel how you guys are doing what's going on with you guys anybody new out there watching for the very first time I would like to welcome you to the channel as well I ask that you drop a comment down in the comment section let me know where you're watching from and I will reply back to you and at any point of the video you like the content that you're watching I ask that you hit that subscribe button also, turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And I ask that everyone smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button. That greatly helps the channel, helps YouTube push the video out, it triggers that algorithm, and it helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. Now today we're going to take a look at one of the highly anticipated sneakers of this year. And of course, it's a Jordan 1. Without further ado, let's bring them out. You see the box, you saw the thumbnail. By the box and the thumbnail, you know what we about to look at. Let's give you a look at that box tag. Get the camera in focus. Okay, I'm going to read it to you guys. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color pollen, white, black. Size 8.5. And, and the price is $170 US dollars. Yes, this pair is for a customer and is already sold by the time you see this video. You see a lot stamp right here in the red. You have that white tissue, standard white tissue going on here. And yes, Air Jordan 1 Pilots, aka Wu Tang Clan and nothing to oomph with. Wu Tang Clan and nothing to oomph with. Comment below guys, what's your first thoughts of this sneaker before we dive into the review? And man, I'm kind of excited for these. There is no green and white sticker in this box. So, let me know how the release day went in your city, your part of town. And I'm going to share mine. Mine. Uh, a lot of stores did not receive their pair so at the time of recording this video I'm gonna inform you guys be on the lookout the pairs are coming so if you want a pair for retail and you didn't get it you gotta put in that leg work make sure you check with your store because they're probably gonna go real fast even though it's a mass GR or big GR these sneakers will go real fast so Here's the Air Jordan 1 Pilot. Let's go in. Yes, guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 1 Pilot. Let's get right into it. You have that pollen colorway on your overlays, eye stays, and mud guard. And you also have a pollen color swoosh on your quarter panels. You have black leather, and the leather on here is very nice and soft on the black. Some really good. It kind of reminds me, I'm trying to see what Jordan 1 reminds me of this sneaker. I want to say the Royal Toe maybe. They have the leather that's on the Royal Toe. You have your Air Jordan Wings logo branded right here. Looking at your midsole, white midsole. And you have that pollen colorway at the very bottom of it, which leads to the outsole. And I'm guessing because of the materials, the uh, color seems a little off. Because the color on your outsole and the color on the upper of the sneaker, it looks a little different. Comment below. Let me know what you think, guys. I know I wear glasses sometimes, but I know my eyes still seeing pretty well at my age. Looking at the heel of the sneaker around the top of your ankle, you have some nice soft leather up here in the black colorway. And you have your swoosh coming around from your other side. Let's take a look at the medium side of the sneaker. Pollen color swoosh, overlays, eye stays, and mud guards. White midsole, white with the uh, pollen color way at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and get the shoe tree out. Yep, the shoe tree. Here we go. Get the camera focus on it. Say size eight, eight and a half. You got your John Jumpman on here on your cardboard shoe tree. It is nothing special, you guys. 
And let's get a good look at that toolbox. Closer look. Look how soft and tumble this leather is. This is some pretty good leather on the uh, quarter panel and your toolbox. The mudguard leather and the heel and the ankle collar. It's nice leather as well. It's like a kind of straight leather, but it has a soft touch to it. Comes factory with the pollen color laces. And as you saw when I first pulled the sneaker out of the box, it comes with these two additional laces. You have the white, you have the black. Comment below, let me know which pair of laces you are going to put in these. Me, myself, it hasn't dawned on me yet because I have not secured my personal pair yet at the time of recording this video, but I will get this size 14 for my feet. Going up the tongue, you have a nylon tongue, black color. You have your woven patch in the pollen colorway. Nike Air lettering is in white. And the swoosh is in black. Swish it around, pollen color tag. You got the white writing on here. You have a black cotton inside of the tongue. Black sock liner, black insert with the pollen color branding on here it says Nike Air and you have your sizes sticker size eight and a half let's get a good look at their sizing tag tag size eight and a half production date March the third of this year to April 10th of this year so about a month of production man they put in that work because these came out in grade school and timeless. Ooh, they made a lot of pairs of these in a short period of time. They had all their warehouses working expeditiously on these. So let me know what y'all think. There you have it. That's the Air John 1 pilot, guys. Drop your opinion. Let me know what you think of the sneaker in the comment section. And before I go, like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.